So my job is to turn all this billing into profit and loss. Um, <laughs> and so I thought a cool way to do this would be with a spreadsheet. Um, this is the exact format we use for Simplicity Ops to, to project our profit and loss. Um, and it's, it's super specific and it helps us plan um, month by month, which is neat. So a few years ago, I was working for a company um, and the CEO was like, you know, you guys do everything in the accounting department based on the past, but like, I want to see the future. Um, and I was like, okay, well, seeing the future is easy. You just copy what happened in the past. Um, so the way this template starts, we've got income up here and then down below I'll show expenses. Um, but this green section is basically, you know, actual profit and loss. If you have QuickBooks or something like that, you can pull a month by month profit and loss report, plug in the numbers. If you're doing it month by month, you know, you just pull last month's P and L report, put in the numbers, um, and then use those numbers to project the future. So I found this quote a week or so ago. Um, if you don't know where you're going, no wind is favorable. Um, so the point of projections is to set goals. And you can see this over on the right. You know, for a three year projected profit and loss, you know, what are your goals per year? How many clients will it take to meet those goals? How much will you charge them? Um, you know, what's the average fees you need to get per client, et cetera. It helps you think through all that information in order to reach your goals. So on a month by month basis, you know, per client, so 700 a month is around 8,000 a year, which is like the average fees per client in the investment management industry. Um, so, you know, you can list out the name of each one of your clients, how much they have paid you in the past, how much you expect them to pay you in the future. This would be an example of monthly billing. And this would be an example of quarterly billing. Um, might look nice. something like that. We use red to indicate um, goals. So it's a client that we don't have yet, but it's a goal we're trying to hit. So in this case, you know, trying to add six more clients this quarter. Um, and then as you add clients, you know, you can turn them neutral so that you know that you have them and you can see where you are on your goals. But the, you know, the sum of all that is um, on an annual basis, you have the revenue um, totals. And one thing, I mean, it's, you could say three years out, I wanna make $5 million, but you know, you need to project and have realistic goals. Um, so one thing we'll be doing in our RA operators community um, is we're going to release some information about setting three-year goals. There's a lot of good resources around setting three-year goals. Um, so I'm going to kind of combine them, synthesize them, and put them in a, in a format that's easy to use. So then down below, we have expenses. Um, and another thing, you know, we can use graphs to indicate income. So expenses, um, you know, can be complicated or cannot be just depends how many vendors you have. Same, same thing, take your past expenses, project them into the future. You know, if you have a one time one off expense, like a website redesign, you can plug that in. If you have a ongoing monthly subscription, you can plug that in. Um, if you have like fees that are once a year, you can put those in whatever month they happen to be. Um, you know, put in all your softwares and then, you know, you'll have your expenses on a monthly basis and same thing here. You'll have a graph of that. So then the culmination of this is the, is the P and L what's the net income. Um, so you have your revenue minus your expenses gives you your net income. Um, and then I also have a running total call, uh, row so that you can see like, this is kind of a startup example, but at what point do they go positive? Um, so this this graph represents the the profit line, but this bottom represents, you know, the break even point. Awesome. And then over to the right, same thing. You can kind of project your profit per per year by tweaking all these expenses, by tweaking your income. Um, so this is a tool we found to be super helpful in running our own business, and I thought it would be nice to share it. It obviously can be tweaked and 
change depending on your business, but this will also be included on the website. So to get all these resources, um, you can go to our website, click resources, click blog. The first blog post, sorry, the first blog post will be this billing blog post. We will have the webinar recording at the top here. You can download each one of the, so we have all these workflows as a Word doc. So this is where you can download them at, as a Word doc. If you want them imported to your Redtail database, we have a Google form. Just fill out your name, name of your firm, which workflows you want, and the username and owner of your database, and then we can have those imported to your Redtail database. Beautiful. Um, and last thing here is the three-year profit and loss template. And then we also have a link to SmartKX's website.